the projections of the mind and the mind who creates reality, I have still a lot of trouble to apply this to situations in my life. Like mm -hmm. I told you this morning, our house was broken. And how do you deal with that? Do, do I change my per per perception of this reality? It's not a burgling, it's I'm not invaded. It, you know, there was no danger. Or how do I do that in a yeah. confronted with something like that? Okay. Well, it, it's not that this is a simple formula that, you know, your mind creates your reality. So you want a different, you just change it because it's not going to work that way. Okay. You have to understand why it is that your mind is creating the reality that it is. And that's your starting point. That's how you're going to get to the place of experiencing reality differently. And so your house is burgled. You examine, you, you, you be mindful of your reaction. And you, uh, you, be, you, you go as deep on, in that as you can of observing and saying what this is. You know, what's behind this? What attachment? What fear? What desires? What aversions? And so on and so forth. And understand them as well as you can. Um, when you take an incident like this, um, it's not over with. You're going to keep experiencing the uh, intellectual and emotional repercussions of it for a number of days at least. There's things that you're going to have to go through, you know, insurance claims and you know, deciding whether or not to put an alarm system on your house or who knows, whatever. You're going to end up thinking about it and doing a lot of feeling. So these are all your opportunity. While you're doing the thinking and while you're doing the feeling, while you're reacting, to observe yourself and begin to understand how it is, why it is that your mind is generating a particular kind of reality that it is. Now, uh, if you are suggesting that <clears throat> you're going to change your reality in such a way that you'll never, your house will never be broken into again, that's not how it works. But if your house ever is broken into again, it can potentially be a totally different experience for you. It need not be uh, the unhappy and uncomfortable experience that it has been. Yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying, and, and I didn't even feel it this way. Um, it's just, um, I, I even thought about we were not hurt, there was not much uh, stolen, uh, we came they fled before we came in. So there was, when it's a karmic thing, it was actually a, a moving out karma on that level. So I felt actually blessed that nothing worse happened. Well, that's of, very you know? good, yeah. So, so yeah, I hear what you're saying, and maybe that is the, and the observation where the fear comes from, you know, it's mm -hmm. not just related to that incident, it is about this my space mm -hmm. thing, yeah. you know? and. Uh, so, yeah, okay, that helps to... Okay, so yeah, you, you apply the Buddhist guidelines to this. You look at this situation and you see some of the mental states that arose were positive. Okay? And you want to sustain those and you want to encourage them to the extent that some of them are, are not positive, unwholesome. Then you want to examine them and see if you can release them and let go of them and perhaps not need to experience in the future. That's, yeah. that's exactly the way it works.